Hi everybody, me again. Um, so this is part three of my uh, second consumer unit install. Sorry it's been a while since the last one, it's been quite hectic here uh, and at work. So I thought I'd just take some time to take you through the various bits and pieces that I'm gonna need for the final install. Um, so if you remember last time we created a space uh, adjacent to the existing consumer unit and uh, I fitted an isolation, a uh, double pole isolation switch, and uh, I also fitted some um, connector blocks so that I can separate the feeds, one into the existing consumer unit and one into this one. So here's all the bits that I'm gonna need uh, to install the second meter. So I've got here uh, some internal Triflex 100 amp uh, cables that go inside the consumer unit. Uh, I've also got some small spacers, some PTFE spacers that will mount this board that I've created um, on, uh, on the wall, slightly raised so I can put cables safely behind it. Uh, I've got a box of screws here, um, 70 mil, so almost three inches. That's for connecting uh, this board uh, to the wall through these spacers. I've got the consumer unit in this box here, which I'll open and we'll have a look at in a second. Uh, I've got a bunch of uh, MCBs and an RCD here, uh, and I've got some meter tails, uh, an earth tail, and a earth block. So let's go through those one at a time. So let's move some of these things out of the way first, make some more space. So first of all, um, let's have a look at the board. So this is just a piece of pine board. I think it's about 18 mil thick. It was an old shelf that I had lying around. So that is, yeah, 18, can you see that there? About 18 millimeters thick. All I did was make a, a paper template, put that in the space, transfer the template onto the board, cut it out. Um, put some nice curved edges on it so that it's an exact fit for the space that I've got on the wall next to the original uh, consumer unit and then I've just painted this in primer and then a top gloss coat. So having done that, that will be mounted on the wall using these spacers. I've got a whole pack of different sizes, so I've got some wider ones, some narrower ones, I'm not quite sure which to use yet. So these are, can you see that there, 20 mil so that's uh, thicker than any tails that might go behind here so the way this will work i'll put the spacers on the board like this and then i'll drill through and then using these screws I'll take these out the box quickly if they're not so sort of taped up which they are just undo that quickly so there we go so i've got a Nice three inch screw, almost. That will go through the board and then through the spacer, through the board, through the spacer and into the wall. So that's how that will get mounted. Then I've got the tails. So these are the tails. I bought a pack of two. These are 25 millimeter squared cross-sectional area. So they're rated at 100 amps, comes in a pair. They're one meter long, as you can see there, plus an earth. So that I'll use to go from the uh, connector blocks uh, that I installed in the last video, going through to the second consumer unit. So what next? So let's open up the second consumer unit. So this is an Axiom uh, consumer unit. It's metal in construction, unlike my existing one, which is plastic and it's got six freeways um, there plus it had a 100 amp double pole isolation switch in the unit as well so let's just open that up quickly so we can see what you get just take out the packing there there we go so there we are quite a nice neat little unit if you remember i wanted this to power outside of the house devices so i want a couple of uh, socket circuits and a couple of lighting circuits so a four-way was all I needed this is a six-way um, if I just look at the sizes so that is hundred and ninety seven millimeters wide and it is two hundred and thirty five millimeters long 
and without the flap on the top it's 90 mil and with the flap it's about 112 mil so units mounted on the wall like this and you've got to raise that flap where you can access all of the various circuits as I said it comes with a two-way 100 amp isolation switch so that will isolate both mains and neutral so that's how it comes it's got some knockouts here so you've got a 20 mil knockout you've got 25 mil knockout on the side same on the other side and then on the top you've got three knockouts as well plus three knockouts on the bottom you've also got some knockouts on the back you can see here so if I do mount this so when I do mount it on the board like so and this is raised up my towels can go under the board and then come in through the back of the unit which makes it nice and secure so let's just take this apart see what's inside open up the flap just provided with a couple of screws so just undo those quickly take the lid off so then you can see inside here din rail at the back you've got some triflex cables already uh, provided for neutral at the top here you've got an earth bar you've got the neutral bar and then you've got the isolation switch already mounted on its on its din so i have purchased for that uh, in the first instance i've got an rcd so all of my four circuits will be protected by this so that will just hook onto the din rail and then you can just hit the clip underneath and then that's all insecure then the neutral from the uh, isolation will go into the neutral of there and then plus the live will also go through and loop up to here I'll use the triflex cables that I bought earlier to use live and neutral as I need and then I've got a bunch of MCBs for the individual circuits so I've got four of those they will mount here so I've got 32 amp I've got a 6 amp got another 6 amp so those two will be for the lighting circuits and then I've got a 16 amp for another one of the uh, um, main socket circuits so they will just clip in as well so they mount onto the dim the dim rail here and then you've got a little uh, clip that just holds them in place so if I just put those in just to show you quickly in and click let's do another one in but I've put them all in and click them across so you can see they all go in nice and neatly and then you can just push each one and they're locked in place so as I said before the live will come in to the isolation it'll come out of the bottom of the isolation switch and then go to the top of the RCD and then when it comes out the bottom of the RCD to connect live to all of the bottom of the MCBs it comes with a common copper rail here so this copper rail you cut to length depending on how many circuits that you've got and then they will go into the um, connectors under there screw them in tightly so you've got a common live and then each of the circuits will come out of their respective MCBs going off to uh, to the rest of the house so once that's all wired in just got to put the cover back on there you go so it was quite neat and then it comes with a range of stickers that you can connect so I've already put on the main switch and the RCD protected circuits and then I've got in here I've got a number of different labels with different options so I shall have sockets on there sockets on there and then lighting and lighting depending on where they get what the rating is so anyway that should mount in quite neatly so anyway it's quite busy at the moment but I would hope to do the fourth and final part of the install uh, after Christmas and get it all mounted up uh, next to the existing consumer unit and then I can uh, wire in all the, uh, the four circuits that I want to anyway I hope you find that useful any questions please post them in the link below um, if you can it would be great if you could subscribe to the channel and uh, even hit that notification bell so you know when uh, the fourth part of this series drops uh, or any other videos take care